So just a few days ago, a bunch of TikTokers were seen doing the Devious Licks Challenge, where the goal was to steal or deface public properties and post it on TikTok to harvest those sweet Mm, yum, 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 yum. Internet cloud, baby. Here's the first perpetrator that um, incriminated himself by posting a picture of him removing a public MRT sign. Oh boy, I bet his balls are swelling up in anticipation for all the TikTok likes that he's gonna get. Oh, mom, get the camera. I've got five <laughs> likes on TikTok. I'm such a fucking badass, dude. <laughs> Uh, I swear these TikTok challenges are getting more and more outrageous. Remember the Tide Pod challenge where kids would film themselves eating pots of laundry detergent? <laughs> and honestly, that's arguably better because the Tide Pod challenge, they are just fucking themselves up. Whereas this new plague known as the Devious Licks challenge is going to be a massive inconvenience to the public. And all for what? Just so that an edgy teen can jack himself off to a couple dozen likes on TikTok. I mean, you can clearly tell the age demographic of people who use TikTok just by the dumb challenges that are coming out of the platform. What's the next challenge going to be? The elderly assault challenge. Oh hey, there's a helpless 70 year old man. Let's beat him up and film it on TikTok. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to steal his hearing aid because <laughs> devious licks, baby. Ooh, come here, old man. Anyway, back to this disappointing display of our current zeitgeist. Authorities in Singapore were soon alerted and the 15 year old boy in this photo was quickly identified. The police then went to the boy's home to recover the sign. <laughs> Could you imagine the look on his parents' face when they realised that their kid was a thief? And not just that, but one of the dumbest thieves in the world. Son, what is happening? Why is the police at our door? What did you do? Mom, I... I stole an MRT sign. You what? It's just that... Everyone in school thinks I'm a loser and no one really comes to hang out at my place. So I thought stealing this MRT sign would trick them into stopping by my place. You know, I just... I'm... I'm so lonely, mom. God, why is my son such a fucking idiot? Officer, yeah, my son's in the room. So that's essentially what the Devious Licks challenge is about. You know, stealing useless things in public in the hopes that the god of TikTok likes would piss on you, giving you a golden shower of TikTok likes. Here's a couple more videos of the Devious Licks challenge that was posted online. Oh, B. Hey, man, it's that who likes mixtape. On the streets, man, you in the gutter, man, you feel me? James Dean is rolling in his grave right now. Parents, if you're watching, hide your daughters because you got a bad boy in the house and he's running towards your kids. Like, what is the point of this? Why? Is it a thing now to film yourself committing a criminal misdemeanor and post it online? Is this a new way of showing your patriotism to your country? Hey, I love my country, so you know what? I'm gonna commit a crime, but also film myself committing it and post it online to help the police with my arrest. <laughs> I'm so glad that the authorities are stopping this trend out before it, you know, gets viral in Singapore. Imagine waking up one day to find hundreds of teenage TikTokers just, you know, crawling around, running around with bus stop signs and pieces of metal barriers, you know, chanting as they strip our city of its infrastructure just to appease their insatiable thirst for TikTok clout. I'd honestly rather be in the perch than to experience this living nightmare. I also just checked and apparently you can get a prison term of up to three years for vandalism of government property. <laughs> Imagine being sentenced to three years in prison for a TikTok challenge. Just for that 10 extra likes you'll get on your TikTok post. But I guess this is the age we live in. An age where likes and comments are the new currency that kids are willing to do anything for, including incriminating themselves in front of hundreds to see. I just pray to the gods of TikTok that my future child does not resort to being such a loser who's willing to bend over and get dp by likes and comments. Alright, that's it for me shitting on TikTokers. I know some of you may be thinking, Sushi, come on, you're just picking on teenagers. Use your intellect for something bigger. But sometimes the lowest hanging fruits are the sweetest to devour. Bye.